Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 30th of 2024 is titled GK Per Nova and Planetary Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as GK Persei, and that is actually what has been seen as a nova. In fact, back in 1901, was seen as a nova. Now, a nova is a kind of star explosion, but it's quite different than a supernova. In a supernova, the star actually tears itself apart. In a nova explosion, what happens is you have a white dwarf star, so a compact remnant of a dead star like our sun, and it is in a binary system with a close companion. And that companion may become a red giant star, and some of that material may start to be pulled on to the white dwarf. If you build up a sufficient quantity of material on the white dwarf star, then it will ignite on the surface of the star. Nuclear fusion reactions begin on the stellar surface of that white dwarf. And that will cause a, an explosion on the surface. Not enough to damage the star. That white dwarf star is really, really tough, so it's not going to be damaged there. However, it will have a flare in brightness and it will become rather could become rather bright in the sky uh, depending on how close it is and in this case was one of the closer novae that has ever been recorded and it will expel material outward as well now the material expelled in the nova is that small core at the center almost looks like a firework explosion going on there. And that's the material from the nova that occurred a little over a 100 years ago. However, the outer regions are actually part of a planetary nebula. So when the star eventually went to the end of its life, it expelled its outer layers. And that's what we see in those outer red regions going out and, uh, and farther. Those are the regions that would be part of the planetary nebula. Now that's what happens at the very end of the life of a star like our sun. The white dwarf is left behind at the center and the outer layers of the star are expelled out. Now not every white dwarf will become a supernova. It's only those in a very close binary system. So even though our sun will eventually become a white dwarf star, it will never become a nova. And again, that's because there's no other star there and therefore no way for our sun to pick up enough material for nuclear reactions to begin on the surface on its surface. So once it's done and it becomes a white dwarf, it will never be able to become something like this. It will form a planetary nebula, but it will never become a nova as we see with this one here. Now there is another nova expected to go off this year and novae actually can recur again and again because the star itself is not damaged. So as more material then accumulates, they can recur. So you can have recurrent novae that will occur every 50 or 100 years. However, it's not precise. It's not like predicting a comet coming back into the inner solar system, which we know rather well. In terms of a nova, you have to build up the right amount of material. And there are a lot of variables that go into that, meaning that we expect it to become a nova, but we won't know exactly when until it occurs. And nor we will be able to know how bright it becomes until we actually get to see that. And that's hopefully something to look forward to later this year. So that was our picture of the day for April 30th of 2024. It was titled GK per Nova and Planetary Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a sky lion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.